Previously on Transformers Prime. Bulkhead, prepare for departure. Raphael and Agent Fowler will be your communications and transportation hub. Who is the fiercest among you? I am Hardshell. You will retrieve something for me. Talks end. You're carrying it? I thought that stuff was toxic. Your spark is mine, Wrecker. That's right, soldier. Come on home. The Wrecker left me alive. The last mistake he will ever make. your drive time listening to chip tunes. Well, it's been fun, but I'm ready to get back to my regularly scheduled partner, Balkan. Ah! Balkan, respond. Balkan. and exposure, among other things. Bulkhead has suffered a complete systems failure. Hold on. Tox N. Help me get him into the medical bay. Now! No! If I hadn't gone to New York... There's nothing you could have done. Hardshell sucker punched the big lug while he was down. Who? Some Insecticon. It doesn't matter. Point is, it's not your fault. You got that? Got it. How is this possible? Four relics, each within our grasp. And yet only Soundwave has returned with something other than an excuse. Tell me, Hardshell. What is yours? I have none, my lord. We failed to retrieve the toxin, but the green Autobot has been terminated. Then perhaps this day is not lost after all. If that is true, it has been a while since anyone has extinguished an Autobot spark. Because it has been a while since an Insecticon warrior has been provided the opportunity to do so. Really now? Because the bug under my recent command was utterly useless. <laughs> Enough! Hardshell, are you certain the one called Bulkhead was exterminated? By my very own hand, Lord Megatron. Yes, sir. Turns out highlights of your Big Apple adventure got caught on security tape. The Pentagon needs me to run interference with the mayor. I tried to stall, but... Go where you are needed, Agent Fowler. There is nothing more you can do for Bulkhead at this time. Keep me posted, Prime. I mean it. Wheeljack's on his way. 
I can't believe you're giving up on Bulkhead already. All I meant was Wheeljack and Bulkhead are close. I thought he'd want to be here. I know what you meant. Miko, where are you going? Home! While well, Agent Fowler can still give me a lift. She needs time. Bulkhead is stable for the moment, but I've had to induce stasis. What's the damage, Doc? Bulkhead suffered massive trauma to his central neural conduit. I've watched you work. You're a maestro. The toxin exposure has caused system-wide shutdown on a submicronic level. I can't even begin to operate until Bulkhead regains some strength. You gonna tell me who did this to him? At the moment, I believe it is best to focus our attention on Bulkhead's recovery, rather than revenge. You do that. Wheeljack will most likely do something rash, you know. And I am not sure we could stop him if we wanted to. doing here going after the con who hurt bulkhead you in i'm taking you back no wait kid i get it you want payback you and me both bulkhead's my partner too trust me when i find out which one of megatron's goons jumped our boy i'll take care of him my way i know who did it who? Take me, and I'll tell you. You should have seen the Wrecker's face as his spark expired, knowing that he perished at the hands of a true warrior. Lord Megatron now understands that the difficult tasks are best assigned to an Insecticon. Pitbound scavengers. Scrap eaters. What did you say? Detailing was so much easier when Breakdown was around. What is going on out there? How am I supposed to concentrate? <laughs> Just buff that! You know where to find Decepticon mines? You didn't think I've just been sitting on my can since I've been on this rock. But shouldn't we be at an Insecticon hive? The bugs are bound by a single mind. Trying to draw just one of them out is nearly impossible. So we're gonna make some noise. And get the cons to hand over Heart Shell. Now you can sneak in there and scope things out a lot easier than I can. We got five, maybe six troopers in the main cavern. And two more keeping an eye on things from the second floor. Good job, kid. Keep going. <gasps> There's another chamber. Looks like they're just using it for storage. Wheeljack, you there?
Now what? We give Megatron a shout. Just look what they've done! Spare me the dramatics, Knockout. It's merely a scratch. This isn't about me, Lord Megatron. The Insecticons are creating dissension among the ranks. These savages are a threat to this warship and its crew. They should be confined, restrained even. You could not produce restraint strong enough to hold us. Lord Megatron, we're receiving an emergency transmission from Mine TBC 15. What seems to be the problem? Unclear, my liege. The caller will speak only to you. What is it? Nice operation you got here, Megatron. Although, technically, you might say it's under new management. Wheeljack. The one who enjoys explosive devices. What can I say, Chief? I'm uncouth. And right now, I'm sitting on top of one of your big, juicy mining ops. The loss of one asset is hardly a blow to the Decepticon cause. Maybe, but I'm gonna keep on hitting them, one by one, until you give me what I want. And what, pray tell, would that be? The Insecticon scum who tried to frag Bulkhead. Tried? Are you saying the Autobot lives? He is bluffing. Wouldn't bet on it, so here's the deal. I'm gonna transmit the coordinates of my next target. If Hardshell cares to meet me there, maybe he can save you from another loss. And Megatron, just in case you ever wondered what three tons of exploding energon sounds like, Allow the Autobot to live? Hm, bugs. Not all they're cracked up to be. Lord Megatron, I swear upon the Allspark, the Autobot could not have survived his wounds. Then you owe me a spark. And if it's not the one belonging to Bulkhead, it had better be Wheeljacks. Maybe you ought to power down for a while. I'm good. He's gonna make it, right? No question, kid. Bulkhead's the toughest wrecking ball I've ever known. And Ratchet's a great doc. The best. Yeah. There's no way Bulk could miss all the stuff we have planned. Car sledding, worldwide smash-a-thon. We've been making a list. Like I said, Bulkhead's too stubborn not to pull through. I know it. And I bet you do, too. I'm up. What's the plan? Kid, if anything happens to me, press this. I've preset the autopilot to get you back to Prime's base. What? No way! We had a deal. You said I could help! And you did. But it ends here. This is my fight, too. Sorry, kid, but Bulkhead's gonna wake up. And he'll file off my rivets if you're not there when he does. Wheeljack! Too familiar with your record tricks. What's the matter, hard shell? Not used to 
fighting a bot who hasn't been doused in toxin. Talk during battle is a sign of weakness. Only when you're too primitive to do two things at once. Spark will now belong to Megatron. I thought I told you to hit autopilot. Bad things happen to bots when I leave their side. Too many to pick off. I'll need something with a wider blast radius. Carry one at a time. Kid, you did Bulkhead proud. Then why don't I feel any different? Miko, you okay? She's fine. Kid's a pro. I wasn't talking to you. How is he? Bulkhead will survive. He may never be fully functional again.
Miko, I don't think it's wise for you. I'm not sure I want to see Bulk right now. Not like this. <laughs> I'm never leaving you again. <gasps> the Autobot did this? No, my lord. It was a human girl. They said it couldn't be done. The one called RC is too quick, too stealthy to be captured. Well, here you are, with a rare opportunity to make history. You see, I have intercepted this encrypted Autobot signal. And if it's encrypted, it must be important. Decode it for me, and I will see to it that you perish quickly. Speak up. I can't hear you when you whimper. Get fragged. <laughs> Perhaps you will be more inclined to cooperate when it is not your own well-being at stake. R.C., been a while. Give me the encryption code, or I will add your comrade Cliffjumper to the multitude of fallen Autobots below. Scrap him. I barely know the guy. Ouch! Glad I'm not the sensitive safe. Cybertron is little more than a graveyard now. Give me the code! I'm not afraid of you, Starscream. You're no Megatron. Three steps, Bulkhead? That's all you can manage? Uh, I'm sorry, Miko. My legs still hurt. What did I tell you? <sighs> no excuses. Exactly. Try again. Ten steps this time. I hope decoding the Iacon database is going more smoothly than Bulkhead's recovery. Slow but steady, old friend. Ugh. Human technology. But your expertise in the field should provide any edge we need to beat the Decepticons at this game. I fear their access to Cybertronian technology may provide them with equal advantage. Not good enough! You have to come back stronger than before! <sighs> Time for a break, Bulkhead. A break? You think the cons are gonna give Bulkhead a break in the middle of a firefight? If you push a patient too far too fast, you risk exacerbating their injuries. But... Bulkhead needs to rest. <sighs> Out of the way! 
Miko? Oh, uh, hey, RC. I was just... Aren't we a little close to the edge? Heights don't scare me. Bulkhead's coming along just fine. Thanks mostly to your efforts. But he needs a friend right now. Not a drill sergeant. No offense, but I came up here for some privacy. I understand what you're going through. If you ever want someone to talk to... I'm I fine, okay? I'm not the one Hardshell tried to scrap. Miko, it's rough when someone you care about gets hurt. Closing yourself off from feeling won't help anyone. Well, you would know, wouldn't you? Yes. I would. R.C., I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. It's okay. He's been on my mind lately. After I lost my first partner, Tailgate, I pushed everyone away until Cliff Jumper came along. What was he like? Cliff was quite the conversationalist. <laughs> Cliff Jumper, are you? I, I can't, I can't believe you actually care. The only thing I care about is whether you talked just now. <sighs> you always this nice to your rescuers. Didn't answer my question. I got bored with Starscream's little workout, so I idled my engines and fake shut down. Scream bought it. How did you wind up here? Intercepted some chatter about a Decepticon operation on the old home planet. So I follow the trail and find Starscream shipping massive amounts of Energon here to Cybertron. What's your story? Same. You're quite the conversationalist. <sighs> I've tried every interrogation technique, and nothing is working. I would just eliminate them, but the code they carry is too valuable. If only I could break them open and just take it. No, I will not take the prisoners to the surface. Why should I let him have all the glory? The code they carry is too valuable. All right, since I must deliver the energy onto him anyway. So this is Kaon, huh? Love what you Decepticons have done with the place. The ruins are especially picturesque. Silence! Since I could not compel you to surrender the encryption code, I'm forced to introduce you to someone whose methods are a little more persuasive. We may be in a little more trouble than I thought. Autobots, say hello to Shockwave. Delivering a mountain of Energon, intercepting an encrypted Autobot communique, and capturing two key prisoners is impressive, I admit. But Lord Megatron expects nothing less from his first loot. I should let you work, right? Uh, no doubt you are trying to concentrate. Carry on. certain you can extract the decryption code without first nullifying our subject's neural net. I invented the cortical psychic patch. 
I am familiar with its idiosyncrasies. Uh, of course you are. Keep that thing away from me, you one-eyed freak! Leave her alone! Use it on me! Do not worry. If her mind does not survive the procedure, you will be next. <laughs> The code. Uh. RC! RC! I'll scrap you both! Shut up! I'm trying to listen! This is Optimus Prime. To all surviving Autobots who hear this message, I ask you to join me in a remote corner of the galaxy, on a small planet rich with energon. I have reason to believe this world will soon become a new target of Decepticon conquest. Our team is small but strong. Join me at these coordinates so that we might plan our resistance. Safe journeys. Ah, brilliant. Not only do we know where to find Optimus Prime, but he's begging for help. Now is the time to strike! You are no longer of use. Hey, Scream! Curious! You always let other cons do your dirty work? Shockwave! You already disposed of one of my prisoners. Cliffjumper is mine. Your reasoning is hardly logical. But indulge yourself. What do you think, Cliff Jumper? Plenty to choose from here. Shall we go with precise dissection or blunt force? Your choice, Scream. Whatever you pick, I'm just gonna end up using it on you. Very well. Why don't we do this the old fashioned way? Thanks for the save. Your turn, Starscream. What's with all the energon? As if I would tell you. Talk, or you're a science experiment. I'm not kidding. You should probably tell her something. I'm not sure how long I can hold her back. I'm no expert with this thing, but I hear one slip-up can fry a neural net. Shockwave! He's the one you want! He's building a space bridge beneath Kaon. Impossible. Space bridge technology's been lost for megacycles. And yet he managed! Shockwave never left Cybertron precisely so he could scavenge parts and reverse engineer space bridge mechanics! And you just delivered all the energon he needs to power it up. While it often pains me, I try to be a team player. <sighs> Going somewhere? To take down a space bridge. Without me? This will require stealth, not chatter. Oh, you mean the chatter that distracted Starscream long enough for you to free yourself? Just try not to slow me down. You know where you're going? My unit used these tunnels during the war. They're part of old Cybertron. The sooner we blow the bridge, the sooner we join up with Optimus Prime. Give him my regards. Did you not hear Prime's message? He needs us. Teamwork isn't my thing. After we finish this, you and I go our separate ways. Whatever you say, partner. Let's get one thing straight. You are not my partner. RC, I know it's rough. I really do. I don't know what you're talking about. Tailgate. Closing yourself off from feeling won't, won't help, help anyone. anyone. Sounds familiar. Good advice is good advice.
So, I gotta know, what happened next? Shockwave's latest work of art. Already fueled and ready to rip. RC, look familiar? The coordinates Optimus provided. They're being used to target the space bridge. Which means the cons will ambush Optimus and his team before any Autobot reinforcements can get there. If the cons scorch Optimus, the war is as good as over. We can fix that. No, we don't have the ordinance to blow the bridge. I'll have to sabotage the control systems. What about access? You just gonna walk up and ask for permission? No, you are. Uh, excuse me. I got separated from the tour group. Does anyone know where I can find the Decepticon base? Whoa, didn't Commander Starscream tell you? I'm on your side now. That coward Optimus Prime turned tail and ran. Left the rest of us Autobots to fend for ourselves. So much for camaraderie, huh? Figured I'd rather be on the winning team, so I took Starscream up on his offer. Imagine the look on Prime's face when it starts raining Decepticons. Me with him. Really, I know all about Starscream's plan. We can all get along now. There's someone behind me, isn't there? Only Starscream could fail to dispose of a helpless captive. Uh, is it supposed to sound like that? Interloper! overridden the Energon containment protocols, haven't you? Clever, but not irreversible. Via neural net. Not this time. Cliff? I knew you cared. It appears Shockwave's arrogance was his undoing. Destroy them! Autobots, whatever you did to the space bridge, undo it now! They should really stop shooting at us if they want our help. Seeing as how our exit is blocked, and we have an open space bridge portal currently set for Prime's location... You with me?
Think Shockwave survived? Hope so. I want a rematch. Uh, uh. Let's find Optimus. Partner. <laughs> Rich with Energon, huh? Hope the whole rock doesn't look like this. Reminds me of the time I was lost in the Sea of Rust, back on Cybertron. Except I was separated from my unit with absolutely no one to talk to. Talk at? Admit it. You love the company. <laughs> Funny. At first, I didn't think I'd ever get used to Cliff's constant chatter. Now, there's nothing louder to me than the silence. Removing Bumblebee and replacing him with... The tap dancing monkey strikes again. Bumblebee sightings on the World Wide Web are no laughing matter. Seven, eight, nine... Why can't I just drive from now on? Because your legs will atrophy if you choose not to use them. One, two, three. Wait, what's that? A Cybertronian escape pod? Here in Earth's atmosphere? Autobot or Decepticon? Impossible to tell given the image resolution. In any event, this merits investigation. Could be a trap, and we're down one bot. Should we reach out to Wheeljack? I can hear you! I don't care if Bulkhead isn't combat ready. After that revenge stunt he pulled with Miko, Wheeljack can stay rogue. An Autobot may be in distress. Ratchet, bring your medical kit. It is of Decepticon origin. And the con inside blew his way out. Those cons came out of one pod. The humans refer to the phenomenon as a clown car.
you, cons! Friend of yours? Never seen him before. Torching that Energon leak. Pretty good plan, right? Except that it wasn't your plan. It was a random shot that almost fried us to a crisp. Worked out, didn't it? Thank you, fellow Autobot. Your valor is to be commended. I don't believe it. You're Optimus Prime. He's Optimus Prime. We know. Yes, yes, yes. What is your name, soldier? Smokescreen, sir. Welcome to Earth, Smokescreen. It's an honor to be here, especially with you. Now what? It's not like we can just bring him back to base. Wouldn't be the first time an ally turned out to be a plant. I see that you received your training from Cybertron's elite guard. True enough. Though it wasn't much more than a boot camp by the time I joined. Never even got a proper graduation ceremony. There was a war going on. Hey, all I ever wanted was to be a soldier, serve the Autobot cause. But what I got was security detail at Iacon. The Hall of Records of all places, Optimus. Do you not find this highly suspicious? Smokescreen, what was your assignment inside the Hall? Guarding Alpha Trion during what turned out to be the final days of the war. You served under the Master Archivist? I wasn't thrilled at first, watching the back of an old bot instead of kicking con tailpipe. Sorry. But the Big A turned out to be a great teacher and a true friend. I mean, he was the one who petitioned Halogen and the High Council to make you a prime. Raphael, activate the ground bridge. That's it? That's all you need to hear before inviting him to the party? If my former mentor shared this information, it is because he considered Smokescreen a trusted ally. We haven't had somebody new here since Wheeljack. What's your story, Smoke? Where'd you come from? How'd you get here? How many blasters you pack in? So these are the life forms we're supposed to protect? Are they all like this? Fortunately not. But I, too, share Miko's fascination with how you came to arrive on Earth. In a Decepticon escape pod. Still got trust issues, huh? Tough crowd. The main thrust of combat operations was at least 20 clicks from the Hall of Records, so things have been pretty quiet. But the situation went downhill fast. The cons launched a massive surge that wiped out the last line of defenses surrounding Iacon. I was the only thing left to hold him back. And let me tell you, I was pumped. I mean, this was my chance to see real action for the first time, to prove myself. Until everything went black. Khans took me prisoner and dumped me onto a transport ship. but I managed to give a guard the slip and hopped in an escape pod. Apparently, it was a long-distance pod, because it knocked me into stasis. Next thing I knew, I'm hitting solid ground. Hard. The Decepticon warship must have picked up the pod's beacon and guided it to Earth. Which would explain Smokescreen's welcoming committee. <laughs> Bet those cons were disappointed not to find one of their own inside. Smokescreen. Do you know of Alpha Trion's fate after the fall of Iacon? I wish I did, but that was the last I ever saw of him. That's it, my life story. Not exactly the glory I envisioned for myself. Until now. Being here with Optimus Prime? I knew I was destined for great things. I mean, now that you have help, how hard could it be to end this war? <laughs> Take a good look, newbie. This is how hard. Smokescreen, I would suggest that you take some time to become acclimated to your new surroundings. 
A tour of the base would be an excellent start. Sure thing! <sighs> I mean, Jack here offers a very informative tour. This is what the humans call the Information Superhighway. A trillion gigabytes of data. None of it's useful. Oh, some oddly engrossing. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Ignorant life forms have no idea what they've uncovered. Red Energon. If I can possess its power, not only will I be stronger, but also faster. Significantly faster. Phase shifter. Spark extractor. Immobilizer. This is where we store the Cybertronian relics we found buried on Earth. And talk about a small universe, because most of them came the from the... The Icon Hall of Records. I remember these. Whoa! What kind of relic is she? The kind you don't want to mess with. If you wanted to replace me, you should have called Wheeljack. I could have lived with that. No one is replacing you, Bulkhead. For one thing, Smokescreen's too green. Well, Bulk's as green as they get. What RC means is, Smokescreen still has a great deal to learn. And once you got him trained, then what, huh? He's in, I'm a doorstop! Bulkhead, your place with us is not in jeopardy. But there is no dispute that we have long required additional firepower. It is essential that our team learns to work with our new recruit, not against him. Better hope the Hotshot's blasters are as big as his mouth. How hard can it be? Hey, everyone. Check this out. But don't tell me it's another Bumblebee sighting. Oh, my. Red Energon. Here? On Earth? What's Red Energon? An extremely rare and volatile form of Energon. Refined into fuel, it provides the power of hyperspeed. We must have Agent Fowler clear the dig site of all human presence. In the event, we are not the only ones who have discovered its location. Now you're talking. Let's scramble up some con circuits. Given your limited field experience, I believe further training is required before you are battle ready. Optimus, with all due respect. Furthermore, we Autobots live on this planet as robots in disguise. You will need to obtain an Earth-based vehicle mode. In order to maintain a low profile, if that's possible for you. If you're talking wheels, bring them on. The Red Energon is mine, humans. For you are powerless in the face of the mighty star! What? Where is it? Nope. How about that one? Eh, it's more ratchet speed, don't you think? Cement truck? Yeah, if I were a Constructicon. Seriously? This is the best your planet has to offer? No, but this is Jasper. I'd feel for you. Fowler couldn't have the crane operator lower the thing? The humans must have been preparing to transfer the meteor to a cargo ship when they received his evacuation order. Run along home, Autobots. 
That red energon has my name all over it. Secure the Red Energon and have Ratchet bridge it back to base. Don't tell me you've already forgotten our last encounter, Prime. Keep moving, B. Optimus, is something wrong? Starscream has come for the Red Energon. And I fear he will not be deterred in his quest. Starscream? I heard stories about that stiletto-heeled creep back on Cybertron. Send me in, Doc. When Optimus requires backup, he will ask for it. Oh, come on. I got my V-mode and everything. I'm souped up and ready to roll. Get, get, get. What part of further training did you not understand? you climb, the harder you fall! <laughs> Autobot! Such slow learners. Optimus, what is your status? Ratchet, they need me. I can do this! RC? Bumblebee? Did you hear what I said? I heard, and I'm ignoring you. This may be your opportunity after all, Smokescreen. Where is Smokescreen? That's the one. You there! What in the name of the Allspark do you think you're doing? to unload some more dead weight. no one to find low profile for him. So, the Autobots have a new recruit. And you must be Starscream. I thought you'd be taller. <sighs> this will not end well. Smokescreen, stand down. You are no match for Starscream's Apex armor. Any last words, Smokescreen? Just four. Kiss your armor goodbye. Oh. A phase shifter? Now that! You are 
the only one sporting a fancy wrist-mounted device. Think fast! I told you I just needed to borrow it for a while. Doc here thought I was trying to steal your relics. Only until you explained your plan, which I then sanctioned. It's called protocol. Ratchet is correct. Standard procedure must be observed by every member of this team. However, I believe we must also commend Smokescreen. You have proven to be a quick study by choosing to play strategy above bravado. There's gonna be no living with him now. While this may lack the pageantry of a proper elite guard ceremony, I wish to welcome you to Team Prime. Seriously, once we get that leg of yours back in shape, old Smokey's gonna learn real quick who the top wrecking ball is around here. Bulkhead, 